proclamations and awards. We are starting with celebrating Black Excellence Month tonight, and it's a proclamation, and that will be presented by Councilor Nicodemus, uh, the Milwaukee S Historical Society's Greg Hemer, Rao Middle School teacher uh, Zach Tate, and Rao Middle School student Angel Wilton. In my opinion, Black history is not something that should be taught or celebrated in isolation. Black history is American history. That's why we recognize Black excellence. And when I say Black excellence, it's more than just a catchy hashtag or words across the front of a hooded sweatshirt. Black excellence is in fact our ancestors' wildest dreams. It is what we as people of African descent strive for each and every day. It is the lifeblood of what keeps us going when it seems our humanity is being questioned. Black excellence is me and every other black person working towards the advancement of our people. Today's proclamation ensures that my voice matters, that my intellect is wanted, that my sacrifices are worth it. But most of all, it reminds me that in order for the next generation to have a path to follow, we must continually work towards the dreams and aspirations that we are told we cannot accomplish. Thank you for today's proclamation. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Councillor Nicodemus, Mayor, Councillors, and City staff. Thank you so much for having Milwaukee Historical Society present Black Excellent Proclamation this evening. Look, 2020 and three quarters of 2021 are going to be difficult for Milwaukee Historical Society, the owners and operators of Milwaukee Museum, located at 3737 Southeast Adams Street, currently closed because of COVID restrictions. We miss being out in the public and seeing our visitors and spreading the great history of past and present to our community. But we all have sad stories to tell, so I'm not going to dwell. I just want everybody to know that thanks in part to the support of City of Milwaukee, Milwaukee Museum is physically sound, here to stay, and is ready to greet the public when the time is right. We want to thank our donors and corporate members for their continued support. Milwaukee Historical Society gains income from donations and membership. This year, we are asking our patrons to take care of their families, friends, and loved ones first. Then give an extra tip at your local restaurant or buy a gift for someone at a local business. After all that, if you have $20 to become a member of the, at the museum, then please do so. We appreciate the donation and memberships, but others are in much dire need than us. Take care of our community and our community will take care of us. Oops. So let us rejoice for once. It is very rare when a historian can see that a year in the present will have impact for the rest of its residents' lives. The year 2020 may be one of the greatest years Milwaukee has ever had. It created structures, gatherings, and people that will be remembered for at least the next 100 years. Late 2019, Main and Washington Street opened up with improvements, a plaza, and a brand new building called Axletree. On January 11th, the new and improved Letting Library opens up to the public. January 25th, Kronberg Park multi-use pass, including the bridge, opens to the public. June 9th, Milwaukee Bay hosts the largest protest in its history, Black Lives Matter sit in for solidarity. In August, a new mural of nature painted on Chan Stakery. August 18th, the comprehensive plan uh, uh, which uh, adopts future land use was adopted. October 22nd, the new mural unveiling featuring Ah Bing and Hadley's at 40th and Harvey Street. And November 3rd, Milwaukee elects its first black city councilor, Desi Nicodemus. In December, the new Hi Milwaukee High School will almost be completed. So let us celebrate our accomplishments tonight and our future together. Speaking of accomplishments, join us along with our partners, City of Milwaukee, 
Facebook group, Milwaukee Chit Chat, Letting Library, and Willamette Fall Studio for our Letting Library, Library Lecture Series entitled Celebrating Black Excellence, Wednesday, February 3rd, beginning at 6.30 p.m. The virtual program features social justice leader and North Clackamas School District Chair, Libra Ford, and our newest counselor, Desi Nicodemus. The program features a discussion with Chair Ford and Counselor Nicodemus on various topics. We will explore relatable experiences of how they have been treated because of the color of their skin, not only in Oregon, but where they grew up and their experiences throughout the world. We will discuss their political wins and accomplishments and explore why they ran and what does it mean for our community and what enhancements they are striving for. We will examine what it means to bring together communities and creating unity by seeking their advice of why it is important to be involved and accomplish goals inside our community. Because of our partners, there are a variety of ways to watch and even participate in the discussion. By using the Zoom link available on the city and library website, you can ask questions in the chat feature during the live broadcast. You can watch live on Comcast Channel 30, City of Milwaukee YouTube page, or live stream on Facebook group Milwaukee Chit Chat. Please check city website for details. I want to thank Councillor Nicodemus for setting up our program today. Councillor Nicodemus, you have been on council for one month and already you are carrying on the tradition of your fellow councilors, predecessor, and city staff about aiding the community in accomplishing their goals and helping those you are able to help. Thank you again for making this connection. Tonight, I am so proud to introduce Zach Tate, a sixth grade language and art social studies teacher at Rao Middle School. This is his second year as a Black Student Union advisor at the school, along with Brian Howelton and Stephanie Dreeman. He grew up in Portland, went to Clackamas High School, and attended college at Southern Oregon University. Tonight, he and his colleagues will talk about the success of the program, what he enjoys about it, and introduce the true star of the show, Angel Wilton. Mr. Tate, thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Um, I'd like to recognize everyone who helped put this event together. I think it's such a big deal. Um, and I wanna thank you all for having me and my colleagues and um, our very own angel here to represent Mount Rao Middle School and the Black Student Union um, so we can be a part of something meaningful. Uh, as you mentioned, we just got our Black Student Union up and running last year. Um, it's been a real joy to watch it grow and build connection with students. And um, even though our BSU looks a lot different than it did last year, we're really proud of our students for showing up and continuing to show resilience through these tough times. Um, I would like to take a moment to recognize and introduce you all to my wonderful and incredible BSU colleagues. Um, they're both very passionate and truly inspirational to work with. Um, I'm going to introduce Brian Howelton first. Oh, my, I'm here. Yes. Hello, everyone. Uh, so, my name's Brian Howelton. So, th thank you for having me. Um, as Zach said earlier, um, thank you for putting together this event that's given our students the opportunity to be heard and encouraged to embrace their voice. You know, while helping to establish our Rao BSU, it's been a surreal moment for me to be one of the people that helped plant the seed and watch it grow has been a very humbling experience for me. And I'm extremely proud of our students, our advisors, and all our supporters of the program. So thank you again for acknowledging the powerful spirit of our young voices. And I would like to introduce our school counselor and co-advisor, Stephanie Dreamin. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Brian. Um, it's been such a pleasure, as they said, to work together. The three of us meet a lot, and we have developed a lot of cool programs and games and platforms for our students. And so we are so happy to be a part of this. And um, we're really grateful that Angel is showing you her talents and her passions and sharing that with everyone. I can't wait for you to see and hear what she's got going. Angel, you look beautiful. You're going to do great. 
Um, WSU has been an amazing experience. We did become official last year. Shout out to Desi, Counselor Desi, that is. Uh, you did aid that a little bit beforehand. We were kind of unofficial. It was really just a hangout group in my office. So it's nice to be official um, because we can just do more stuff when people recognize who we are and who my students are and my co-advisors who have been doing great stuff. Um, in the past, we've been able to do some college field trips. We've been able to work with Milwaukee High School a little bit. Now we're partnering with Clackamas a little bit. So we've been doing a lot of stuff both on the school and on the mental health end and on the community end. And um, we've gotten donations, which has been really helpful. So if anybody wants to donate, that's my plug. We're always taking donations so we can keep doing good things and giving the kids prizes and celebrating and all that stuff. Um, that being said, Angel, I'm so excited. Back to you, Mr. Tate. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Stephanie and Brian. And yes, Desi as well and all of you. Um, before I do turn it over to Angel, I just want to say what an absolute joy it's been having her as a part of our BSU. Um, she's always a student who's engaged, very expressive, um, and also like also very vulnerable, which I really appreciate. She helps set the tone for um, our BSU and making it a place of respect and uh, make it makes it so kids are willing to share. And I just really appreciate about that about Angel. Um, so without further ado, I will go ahead and turn it over to Angel. Hey everybody, um, it's Angel and I'm in eighth grade and I go to Ralph. And the song that I, today I'm really singing a song and the song that I chose is Lift Every Voice and Sing. And the reason why I chose that song is because it's a history and it, it helps me realize that my skin is beautiful in every way and no matter if I fall or I pick up, um, I'm so beautiful no matter what. So let me get the lyrics. <laughs> <clears throat> Lift every voice and sing to earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as a listening sky. Let it resound loud as a rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith of the dark past it taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. Let us march on till victory is won. So need the road we trod, better the chestnut rod, built in the days when hope unborn had died. Yet with the steady beat, I'm not a weary Come to the place for which I find this side. We have come over a way that with tears has been watered. We have come treading a path through the blood of the sun. Did I out from the gloomy past? Till now we stand at last where the white gleam of the bright star is cast. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, Thou who has brought us thus far on the way, Thou who has by Thy might led us into the light, keep us forever in the path we pray. Let our feet stray from the places our God where we may be. Let our hearts drunk with the wine of the world we forget. The shadow beneath thy head may we forever stand. True to our God, true to our name, to bless. Our name to the 
the reason the reason the song the reason why i chose that song and the reason what it means to me is because that means that if i fall and i get back up that means that i'm still beautiful no matter what people around me have to say no matter if i feel like i'm not or if i just doubt myself to the point where i can't stand and that means that god and for me it feels like god knows that i'm there and that the history behind my skin is amazing and it's wonderful and it should be expressed in very different ways and yeah and i want to add that there are so many young young kids out there that are afraid to show who they're afraid, afraid to show who they are and brace their skin up brace who they are and show who their skin is and i want to say that it doesn't matter what anybody else around you has to say about it it's amazing it's it's great it's we get to be unique in our own way we don't get to fit in what everybody else and that's what i think i think that I'm fitting, I'm standing out. I'm not fitting in. I feel like if, if I'm not, if I'm not standing out in my own unique way, I'm just fitting in with the crowd. And I want to say that everybody else around in the world is going to tear you down and just know that your skin is beautiful and it's wonderful. And as experience as being a black student, I always felt like in my heart that I wasn't doing enough or I wasn't saying this right, or I wasn't doing this right. So I just felt like, you know, that I wasn't standing out. And now that I've talked to people and putting myself out there as a singer or as a young student in the BSU, I feel like that I've done a lot and I'm proud of my skin. I'm proud of who I am. And I feel like I can stand up and be, you know, myself. And I want to say thank you everybody for what you've done to, to recognize Black Excellence and Black History Month. I want to thank you all. <laughs> You are incredible. I think you know that tonight, but you are, that was the most beautiful experience I have had in a very long time. In the time of COVID when you don't get art in nearly the same way. That literally was stunning. Well done, Angel. Indeed, indeed. I was looking at the black screen with your name, Angel, and I was thinking how aptly named this young woman is. She is indeed an angel with that voice. Really extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angel. If I wish I had that when I was your age. It took me 47 years to get to the point where you know, I, I'm willing to, you know, put myself out there. And you're in eighth grade and middle school is hard. Middle school is the hardest schooling you will go through. And look what you just did. That was amazing. Thank you. You did it, Angel. You can breathe now. Relax. You did a great job. You didn't mess up. Everybody's proud of you. That was amazing. We will be asking you to do other things when we're post COVID though too. So don't <laughs> think that this is over for you. I know how to find you and ask you to help us. Uh, you are an incredible leader. Really well done. Uh, do we wanna move into doing the proclamation mayor? Or how, how would you like to proceed next? Yeah, Desi, um, you are going to read the proclamation, right? Uh, or no? No, I, I wasn't, but I don't have it pulled up. I'm, yeah. I, Desi, I can share the screen and it'll be on your screen to read. Okay. All right. That's great, Scott. Thank you. Can everyone see it? Yes. Okay. Whereas in February, we recognize and acknowledge the struggles of Black Americans for racial justice that stirred the very conscious conscience of our nation and are helping to guide the shape of her character. And whereas black Americans for generations have courageously led the pursuit of justice and equality from Harriet Tubman to Martin Luther King Jr. and beyond, as our nation struggles to overcome the systemic racism that results in persistent inequality, such leaders are crucial to guide us to the principle that all people are created equal. And whereas black Americans have made significant contributions to our nation's economic, educational, political, artistic, literary, scientific, and technological advancements, uh, 
despite historical and current injustices. And whereas in Milwaukee, we celebrate the contributions of Black Americans who have been active in our community, including entrepreneurial boxing promoter George Moore and Milwaukee Pastry Kitchen proprietors Herdis and Dorothy Hadley. And whereas recent incidents have given rise to the greater awareness of the continued discrimination and even violence that Black Americans face daily and the importance of a greater national dialogue to promote understanding and break down barriers. And whereas individuals, we must learn more about the history of Black Americans generally and in Oregon in particular and work to build a Milwaukee where every person has equitable access to educational and employment opportunities and housing. Now, therefore. Hi, Mark Gamba, <laughs> mayor of the city of Milwaukee, a municipal corporation in the county of Clackamas in the state of Oregon, and with full support and sponsorship of the Milwaukee Historical Society and Oregon Black Pioneers, do hereby proclaim February 2021 to be celebrating Black Excellence Month in Milwaukee and do recommend its observance with appropriate programs and activities. Thanks, Desi. Thank you. All righty. I will look to sign that on Thursday, Scott. And just as a plug for anyone watching, the event is when, Greg? Tomorrow. Thank you for that. Uh, February 3rd, 6.30. Check the city website uh, for details. And February that again is be tomorrow. Tomorrow. It is tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. So 6.30. Uh, yeah, lots of ways to watch it. So you can watch it on channel Comcast Channel 30. Participate uh, in the Zoom. Uh, live streamed on Milwaukee Chit Chat and um, on the city's YouTube site. So we're looking really forward to listening to Councillor Nicodemus and uh, Chair Libra Ford uh, to talk about their lives a little bit. And Angel, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. I, I, I didn't want to chime in, but uh, you make us all very proud. And so thank you. We really do appreciate it. And thank you guys very much for letting us host this event. I think Angel has a question. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I have a question. I just want to add something. Um, I want to thank everybody else. I want to thank everybody for the great comments and um, compliments. I do want to say that it was hard for me. Um, I'm not going to lie. It was hard for me being a the only black student in some of my class, uh, some of my schools that I went through, went to, and it was hard getting comments on my hair or the way how I do things or how the way that I talk. So the fact that I put myself out there and that I don't listen to what people around me have to say anymore, I feel really great. Um, and that's the main thing that I struggled with hard getting bullied and getting treated the way I do and getting told that I would never get to where I am now speaking loudly and you know seeing like nobody else is watching and I just want to say thank you to everybody and recognizing that this this month is a big thing and a big deal that black history or black excellence is not just a hashtag it's not something that you can just go around and you know you know, treat it badly is something that every every human being as a black as a black human being celebrates to talk about the history and um, who they are as a person. So I just want to thank everybody for the compliments and to recognize um, this month. Thank you, Angel, very much. I I had a question for Stephanie. You mentioned that you take donations. Do you want to share with the public how you can donate to the Black Student Union? Uh, of course, anything for my children. Um, you can write a check to Rao Middle School, and then in the memo, you can put BSU. That sounds for Black Student Union. And then we have our own little fund within all of the big school fund. But that is specific for us. Um, and some of the things we use it for, in case you're curious, could be to help, like, get some food for an event or do um, we had a Halloween night where we got candy packets packages. We put a bunch of stuff together and the kids could drive up and get it. So finding ways to still communicate and connect and um, we got some t-shirts. 
and we uh, were actually getting matching sweatsuits soon. So yeah, it's used all for the kids to help them, support them, encourage them, and all that exciting. But yes, thank you. Thank you. I just want to lend my thanks to all of you for bringing, um, for helping to bring this so much, more, so so alive. Um, I think this is probably the best presentation um, we've had in a long time, um, and certainly, you know, the the best one that that we've done to honor um, Black excellence. So thank you all very much for all of your hard work and contributions. Um, Angel, I love your name <laughs> and your voice. You're amazing. Thank you so much for putting yourself out here and, and sharing your talents with us.